Hey, what's up guys, Theo here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how with Create React App, we can go ahead and build ourselves a simple connected component. Uh, so here I just have some app, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna make a dashboard component and I'm gonna use um, the React functional component right here, use that snippet. And this is just gonna be a dashboard component. So I'm gonna change this a little bit just to be called const dashboard and let me just export it as the default dashboard okay cool and let me sit, let me just write here i am the dashboard component and let's go ahead and bring this in here by doing dashboard dashboard cool it's already in there and the dashboard component Nice. Um, so this should be pretty quick. Basically, I just have this file here called connect. And again, it's in the same level. Let's sort of show you here. It is in the same level as my app and dashboard. So basically, I'm going to mock here like a private variable store. And I'm just going to give this some data, right? So I can have users. And we will copy that a few times. Sorry. Copy that a few times, right? And we'll just make some users. So we'll just say name Theo, ID one, name John, ID five, name Rick, and ID ten. So this is really, really basic, right? So we're just sort of pretending that this is a private store. Um, cool. So and we're not exporting it, right? So we're not going to get access to it. So now I'm going to export a function here called connect. Um, and basically, this is a function that takes in a component. And it also takes in map state props and map dispatch to props. So, cool. so now what we can do right here. This is super easy, guys. Return class connected. This is just my implementation. Extends React component. Make sure I bring back in React right here. Cool. Um, now I'm just going to return. I'm going to return the component. Spread this dot props. I'm going to spread map state to props, passing in the store, and I'm going to pass in map dispatch to props at the store. Cool. So now let me go ahead and wrap my component in here. I'm going to say connect. I want to connect the dashboard. Let me go ahead and import connect from connect. And now let's go ahead and wire this up. So it does not contain an export. Sorry, that's the default. All right, cool. So you notice map state to props is not a function. So let's just give this two default functions for now. All right, cool. So now if we look in here, we can sort of see we have this higher order component and we have a dashboard. Nowhere to be found is the store again, the private variable. Um, and this works the same way, right? Let's add some props onto here. So I'm just going to give uh, dashboard some props. So name dashboard component. Right? And so now if we look again at dashboard, it's got this name component. Uh, right? And so we can sort of see props. So if we stringify out the props, props, and we add a line break right here. So we'll show you guys. So now we're getting name. We're not getting anything to the store. Let's go ahead and define these methods. So map state props, right? This is just going to take in the store state, right? That's just what I'm going to call it. You can call it whatever you want. Um, in this case, I just want to destructure users. 
and all we're do is just return users. Cool. All right. So uh, map state props. Let me go ahead and switch this out and sort of see what we're getting now. So we're getting the users back from the store. So it's kind of cool. It's connected and is passing our users, it's spreading our props, and it's giving us the store props. Um, and finally, let's look at map dispatch props. This is kind of cool, right? So we can have, say if I didn't want to give it access to the users, but I wanted methods, something like that, or I wanted to just have on methods that sort of build on state within our store, I can, I can do something like this. I can take users, right? And, or, or maybe, just to demonstrate this a little bit more, we can do like uh, not users, but products, right? And do the same thing. Same name, Xbox 360, ID 5, and name, GameCube, ID is 10, right? So we have these collections. I don't want to give it access to that, but I can do this, right? I can say products. And I can return here this object with get product takes in ID. This is products dot find p where p dot ID is equal to ID. All right, so that should work. Uh, let me swap this out real quick. Map dispatch props. Let me clean this up a little bit. And so sort of, we're not going to see the function. I think for something. For some reason, JSON certified isn't going to show us. But here, if we look at our props, 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 and we can sort of see we have a get product function. Um, it's got the function location, etc. Cool. All right. So basically, we built on stuff in the store. So I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of uh, all of this right here. I'm going to log out by users. So now I'm going to destructure this a little bit. Users and get product. Cool. And this should still work. All right. So there's, there's our users. Let's just map over the collection real quick. Just dot map view. And then we'll say get. our users cool and let's look at the get product method so we'll say if we do I'll just get some of that by it just because I'm gonna deal with that so we'll say get product we'll just say one and um, is there not one with one oh sorry let's try five and we'll just say product here it is so line break and product here is name Xbox 360. That's the correct one. Let's change it to 10. GameCube ID 10. And uh, finally, uh, we'll just say get rid of that warning. All right, cool. All right, guys. So that is your basic example of how to implement Connect. Um, again, multiple ways to do this. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.